In this lecture, we continue our discussion on how to create filters. We will show that we don't always need linear phase filters, and we will also show what filter coefficients are needed to create different classes of filters. In previous lectures, we showed that a filter needs linear phase in order to properly shift every cosine by the same amount. This restraint is normally stricter than what we actually need for most filters. Since we plan to remove or minimize the amplitude of frequency content in the stop band of filters, the phase of the filter in the stop band can be anything that is convenient. If we can create a filter with linear phase in the pass band, but not the stop band, we say that the filter has generalized linear phase. As you may remember, linear phase can be written as a magnitude of the filter multiplied by a linear phase factor. We say that a filter has generalized linear phase type 1 if the filter can be composed into two parts, a real, evenly symmetric function and a linear phase component that is zero at the zero frequency. Alternatively, we say that a filter has generalized linear phase type 2 if the filter can be decomposed into two similar parts, a real oddly symmetric function and a linear phase component that is not zero at the zero frequency. To create a filter with generalized linear phase type 1, the filter coefficients must be evenly symmetric. For example, the first filter coefficient will be the same as the last coefficient, and so forth. To create a filter with generalized linear phase type 2, the filter coefficients must be oddly symmetric. For example, the last filter coefficient will have the same magnitude as the first coefficient, but with opposite sign. Now that we know the requirements for these generalized linear phase filters, we can discuss what classes of filters each of these filters can implement. Now let's suppose that we have a filter with generalized linear phase type 1. If we evaluate the filter equation at 0, the frequency response will be non-zero. If we evaluate the filter equation at pi, the frequency response will be zero. This is caused by the even symmetry of the filter coefficients. Because we need the filter equation at pi to be non-zero to create a high pass filter or band stop filter, we can see that an evenly symmetric filter with an even number of filter coefficients cannot create a high pass or band stop filter. Because we need the filter equation evaluated at zero to be non-zero to create a low pass filter, we can see that an evenly symmetric filter with an even number of filter coefficients can implement a low pass filter. By using this method for a number of different filter coefficients and styles, we see that we cannot realize certain filters given the filter symmetry and its number of coefficients.